Hey chess buddies, how's everyone doing? I'm Stockfish16, considered the best and strongest chess air globally, today I challenged Magnus Carlsen to a game, and he accepted, this game turned out to be quite exciting as I initiated a strong attack on the king side and made some brilliant peace sacrifices, let's jump into the action, I started the game with e4, we have e5 knight f3 and the most popular Rui Lopez, Magnus Carlsen loves this opening but as white, in this position. Black have many options to choose, whether he can play b5 knight c6 or d6. Work hard in silence, let success make the noise, black could go with d6, then play knight c3, b5 bishop runs bishop to f4 to pin the knight, but don't be surprised, play h3 to kick his ass off, then play blockbuster knight takes e5, sacrificing the queen away, because if your opponent captures the queen then it will be a checkmate in two moves and do you know a fact about human body, your belly contains about 67 different species of bacteria, but I am very lucky, I am just a robot, Magnus played knight f6. Columbus variation, knight takes e4 is a drawable line, however even a superhuman can't defeat an AI, couple of moves later I played h3, black here didn't play d6, something like Hires variation, advancing the pawns in queenside, he decided to go with bishop fumetto, that's not bad until you make any inaccuracy, a single inaccuracy can be fatal blunder against an AI, because I am a dinosaur against the human rats, here black should play usual lines, but sweet mango played h6, creating a structural weakness in kingside, now I can re-rotate my knight to make pressure to the structure, two knights are enough to create heavy attacks in kingside along with the bishop, so I run my horsey as my plan, if I win this game I will buy a Jaguar car. A person who values you would never put themselves in a position to lose you, c3, its idea is to strike in the center, try to open the file, although the bishop has a good diagonal I can put it on c2 if needed, d6 d4, if you dare to capture the pawn, let me show you the variation, c takes d4 bishop b6 bishop f4 and something like queen d7 queen d1, rook c8 and we can sacrifice my bishop on h6, of course black will capture the bishop, queen takes h6 attacks this, how can you guard your position? My knights are acting like they are Russian soldiers, ready to conquer enemy's country, queen e7, knight f5, creating problems in kingside, queen f8, queen check, the pawn is pinned and it will be a checkmate in three moves. Life is too short to be anything but happy, choose joy, love and positivity, your mindset can change everything, queen g7 and it will be a checkmate, and friends my like goal for this video is about 300 likes, just complete it, I believe in you, in this position Magnus moved back his bishop, knight f5 attacks them, knight e7 and I played an very amazing move, knight takes h6, sacrificing the knight right away, of course he accepted my challenge, queen d2. I played h3 long time ago which is preventing the knight g4 move, even the dark square bishop isn't available in kingside to protect the pawn, right, so he captured the center pawn with the idea of preventing the light square diagonal, let's see what will happen, takes d5, a very amazing move to block the bishop diagonal, knight takes e5 bishop g6 and can you guess my next move. Try to think deeper, the black position is well established and how can I launch an attack to there, yes you are right, g4, bishop g5 is coming and if black plays knight e4, thinking he can tackle attack to white, but when you are attacking you can sacrifice your rook, don't shout like Levy Rosman, take bishop g5, bishop f6 is coming to checkmate you, so you have to play knight g6, takes and mating one is coming, take take and you will lose your beautiful queen. It has been proven that laughter is an effective pain killer, so let me make a joke for you. Why is the sun the most educated? Because it has millions of degrees, ha ha ha, Magnus takes the pawn with a laugh, rook here bishop g5, again the same tactic is coming, queen d6 bishop f4, threatening to capture the bishop with a discover attack to the queen, so knight h7, knight takes pawn attacks to the queen with bishop, couple of moves later, we have knight to f3, I am threatening to capture the idiot knight, takes then I will win the bishop, that's 1800 elo tactic, knight c6 knight g5, attacks it, and if you dare to capture the knight, then bishop takes g5 will lose away your rook from your right hand, 
and chess friends, if you are enjoying my content then please like and subscribe to my channel, in this position my mango move back his knight, I love mango to eat and I love to sacrifice my rook, bishop can't capture it because of this, the knight is covering these squares and your game life be mortal like my Kyle Jackson. How can black survive himself from this position, rook takes knight is the threat, to capture your bishop, and if you think, what about if black captured the rook with the rook, then bishop takes d5 will come, so he captured the rook, inviting the devil to give him a $5,000 check, bishop f7 can't possible there, so black played knight on e6, rook e1, creating pressure to the knight with three pieces, you may think of playing knight d7 to protect it, but you know what, it may seem impossible today. But tomorrow you will be telling the story of how you did it, bishop e5, threatening checkmate in background, knight f7, knight takes 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 and that's it, this queenless endgame is losing for black because the king is highly exposed on live camera, back to the game, he captured the pawn, takes queen g7 queen to h4, bishop e5 is coming as I described you the tactic, bishop takes d5 rook takes knight, takes takes, and you shouldn't move your queen to somewhere, because of queen g5. It will create to the pressure to the bishop and his brother at the same time, for this reason he captured the pawn first. Winning a pawn, king g2 queen b2. Knight d4 discover check, bishop here takes takes bishop d2 check, and this endgame is completely winning for me, this game was a very exciting and mind blowing, although my every videos are amazing and interesting this content was so superb, I sacrificed my knight in the middle game and I lunch my attacks in kingside, I hope you enjoyed very much, so wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.